Good morning. It's the Orlando Gardener coming at you. Time for the other half of the tour. I pray that you all are being safe. And loving on one another. Despite all. Avocados now planted. Got a different variety of aloe over there. Juicy peach is in the ground now. Can you believe that? And it didn't give me one mango this year. Not one, which was a surprise. Baptiste is being top work to Denise. That graph took, another graph took, other ones didn't, but we're going to keep at it. This is the location that Orange Essence is going. It's going to be right there. It's going to be put in the ground right there. So it's going to be, be between the Orange Sherbet and uh, Juicy Peach. And... I couldn't think to save my life at the name of this tree in the, the last video, but that's on sure, but it's, uh, it's in the ground. And I took that lower limb off and grafted it to another tree. All right, here we go. Believe it or not, y'all, y'all about to get shocked. This workhorse, which is shaded by this oak tree, which won't be shaded forever because this is coming down. Pickering just continually dropped all this fruit. Um, it's flushing, but for some reason it just, this tree struggles so much. And I believe it's because it's in the shade. I believe so because his sister over there, back that way, is a workhorse. Y'all saw that thing is loaded. I mean, absolutely loaded. And this thing normally do like a quarter of what the other tree does. Purchase at the same time from the same place. Uh, I think she'll do better once those limbs are gone, that tree is gone. I think so. Then we got uh, fruit on Juliet. Juliet has fruit on it. And so I'm glad about that. A few here and there, maybe about four fruit different places on the tree but very glad I'll get a chance to taste Juliet uh, Super Julie has about let's see three five six seven eight nine ten uh, about fifteen I'm looking for about ten maybe to stay uh, but Super Julie is uh, okay Lemon Meringue is doing good it has fruit on it Got fruit hidden up there, fruit hanging low. Then my meringue is doing pretty decent. It's doing all right. Uh, while I was gone, uh, the trees didn't get water. I got water hoses all over the place now, y'all, everywhere. You got to, you really got to water these trees. You're going to lose trees or you're going to lose fruit when they are in their early stages. I got water hoses everywhere, double hoses, everything. I'm going to eventually get a watering system, but for now, it's just water, water, water. But anyway, because of that, I lost all my fruit except one uh, uh, fruit punch. But it is a big piece of fruit. I mean a big piece of fruit. Same thing happened to Dwarf Hawaiian. As fruitful as it was last year, I got one on it. And, uh, you know, I was gone and they didn't get water. My water guy, uh, he worked quite a bit now. So, you know, that's that's what happened. Nothing on Romani yet. Is this Romani? No, Desari. Nothing on Desari. Looked like something is about to push, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Duncan, as always. Duncan is full of fruit. Duncan has fruit everywhere. Just fruit just hanging on. There's a little one. Different stages. Fruit there. 
Crew hiding up under there. So Duncan is doing good. Um, uh, cream brulee is, you know, in this slow growth stage. And then you got uh, my honey kiss that I grabbed that is doing this thing. Uh, this is my... I want y'all to see that. Because people are sleeping on Gold Nugget. Gold Nugget is an awesome piece of fruit, y'all. And Gold Nugget has about, maybe about seven fruit on it. And that one is the largest one. And um, we got fruit hanging over here. We got fruit over there. And fruit hanging over there. So it's doing good. Uh, then this is uh, uh, Super Julie. Super Julie's sister. This one has nothing. Um, I think it is. It has a some type of mineral deficiency because the, and I gotta look it up and see what what I need to do. But I uh, got it at the same time as the sister, and it is the perfect tree. Look at the center, y'all. I mean, this is the perfect tree. It's shaped perfectly. Every time I pruned it, it it just oh my goodness. But no fruit yet. But we're not worried. All is well. Uh, I, I give it what it needs and it'll give me what I want. Um, guava. This guava tree is doing good. Got a big piece of fruit down there. Got two on that limb over here. Got three, but you know that ain't going to make it. Knock that off. Uh, got about six over here. And uh, let's see. Let's knock that one off. And uh, maybe that one. No, that, no I'm going to take that off too. Uh, oh, I got a couple of them up there. Okay, that one is not going to make it. But guava's doing good. Uh, sunrise has no fruit on it this season. Um, yo, no, I just did a video the other day about this wonderful tree. You know what it is, and it's still some fruit to drop off, but this thing is just a workhorse. This season, it's, it's just doing this thing. And it has different size fruit. All kind of different kind of size fruit on it. This thing is just, wow. It is amazing. Looking forward to that. Uh, this is uh, cotton candy, which is uh, it's going to be for a friend of mine. I grafted it. Um, Reposa. Reposa didn't do anything since... Uh, the tree fell on it. That was the main limb right there. The tree fell on it. And that thing, uh, it hurt the tree. It really did. It hurt its feelings. They give me fruit every year, but this year, I'm not getting it. And that's, that's sad. That's really sad. I was really looking forward to that after last year. Um, but it's, you know, Florigon fell on it. And Florigon is a pretty big tree. And it, it fell, boom, knocked the limb off. And here we go. Nothing uh, on Lil' Jim this year. Nothing on Lil' Jim. I think cause of neglect. Uh, we come over here. The grapevines. I got to do a video on the grapevines. Oh, they woke up, y'all. And they are loaded. I mean, they woke up just like that. And they are ready. We got M4 over here. M4 has a few fruit on it. I don't think that's going to make it take that off I don't think that's gonna make it but the other one will so we have fruit there have a nice size from there got a couple of them there got one there so M4 is holding on the fruit and we're we're glad about that very very glad we got Hatcher holding on to quite a few fruit look at that Hatcher has fruit there's a cluster there Hatcher has fruit. There's a little blemish, but as long as it holds on, Hatcher's fine. Uh, Pimsane Mum has fruit on it this year, and this is one of the ones that got damaged in the cold. As y'all can see, it came back right above the graph, and um, it's holding fruit. Got fruit on each pinnacle, so that is good. Uh, here we go over here. Um, the uh, Sugar apples are coming along. I'm starting to see some more growth and starting to see some 
flowering. Flowering is happening, so I'm I'm excited about that. Uh, Barbados cherry just woke up. It's woke up. It got flowers all over the place. Got these two different papayas. I, I did cut that one down, y'all. So it's supposed to come back female. We'll, we'll see in producing. All right. On this side over here, uh, I forget the name of that guava, but that's guava. And you got a seedling, uh, loquat. And got a banana tree. Uh, and I believe that this one is Romani. Yeah, this is Romani. Nothing on Romani this year. Romani was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, cotton candy is flushing. No fruit is getting ready to go in the ground, possibly today. Uh, this is Angie. Angie had three fruit on it, and all of a sudden, all the rain started flushing, and and I think maybe it has might have one on it now, hiding in there somewhere. But we'll see. Uh, Harvest Moon is pushing real good. Got some pretty pretty big fruit on it. Some fruit there. Harvest Moon is coming along just fine. Very happy about Harvest Moon. For the first time, we got fruit on it. Cross your fingers that the fruit stay. Because um, it'll fall off pretty quick. This wind knocked a lot of them off as well. Uh, some baby. Uh, got some baby on this old bench. Some Barbados cherries and custard apple and stuff like that. Ice cream. Lost everything nothing on this tree this tree just struggles so much and it seems to be that way across the yard that's why you can't give up on one particular variety uh because of a tree i got double trees out here of a few different plant, uh, trees and um and some trees do better than others look at that super jewelry nothing and her sister over there is loaded you know it it, it varies like that uh rosy gold <coughs> is loaded Workhorse, y'all. Don't sleep on Rosie Gold. Don't sleep. I might. Have, I'm gonna have to prop that up, cause they're gonna swell up and get bigger and bigger, and that will break. That's gonna break about right there. I gotta prop that up, and I gotta prop it up today. But Rosie Gold is doing well. It's alive and well. It's alive. Okay. Tess Pollock is in the ground, y'all. Y'all believe that? It's in the ground. Okay, Katuk is doing this thing. This thing is just, <laughs> I got graphs all over it. <laughs> it is doing this thing. Okay, you got Gary in the ground now and Bailey's Marvel. Uh, you know, you know what Bailey's Marvel do every year. Every year, I got the limbs propped up. So, okay. So let's go over here. We got Mark Anthony, my three Mark Anthony trees. Two of them are mine, and one of them is for my my buddy in Riverview. Uh, they're doing quite well, doing real good. Uh, this tree, this uh, Jamaican hog plum is absolutely loaded. It got a couple of hundred on. This is the red one, and that's Jamun. I'm gonna get rid of Jamun. That's a big tree, y'all. That is a big tree. It's going to be a big tree. And I'm going to get rid of Jamun. I am. Uh, this is Best from Chris. Best variety from down at Chris. One of her varieties that she developed. Uh, it's doing well. Thanks, Sergio. Appreciate you. All right. And uh, this is Brain Freeze. That's okay. Pineapple Pleasure. And it's still holding on to that. I don't know why. I'm not going to knock it off. It might do its thing, but it's in the ground now, finally. Finally, finally, finally. And this is, uh, uh, what is this? Oak Rung Tongue? No, Oak Rung. This is Oak Rung. Moved it over here. And then this is Buttercream. Buttercream is loaded, y'all. But I don't know how this little tree going to hold this fruit. Look at that. It's loaded. But if we keep one, I'm happy. This is that keep seedling. No, I'm, I'm sorry. This is that keep that I grafted. I grafted it from on, on a seedling. Okay. This is the new mad scientist area. This is the new area. I did plant 
the longing, that new uh, variety of longing in the ground um, that I got from Richard Wynn. It's in the ground. Now I'm going to let it go do its thing. Um, lime is in the ground. Yeah, what? Yep, it's in the ground. I put a lot in the ground and I'll be putting a lot more in the ground. Um, uh, 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 tangerine, Satsuma tangerine in the ground. I was doing some graph work right here the other day. Okay. Um, sea crest is in the ground. No fruit. Sea crest is in the ground. I'm getting ready to put a variety of sugar cane in there so it can do its thing. Uh, the lychee. I uh, got one on it that has one on it. This one has one on it, and I got it sitting in water. You know, I'm not even getting my hopes up. It's when they get older, they'll do their thing. You know, Neelum. I really wish this thing would go ahead and grow and stop trying to produce fruit, but you know, <laughs> honey kiss. This little honey kiss, y'all know what to do every year. Every year. Honey kids giving me fruit. It's staying small though, y'all. It's so small. You know, it's got a little growth on it. And it's even pushing again. I don't know what it, what that's going to be. Okay. And this is Hakip. Hakip lychee. And I'm sorry. The other was Mauritius. And this one is Hakip. No, no fruit. Uh, this uh, uh, Jamaican hog plum. I'm getting ready to sell it. Um, this is the tree that I was grafted onto as a seedling, and um, Sergio came up and did the work for me. This is Edgar. Edgar is doing well. He's doing real good. And uh, I had a, a new variety on this one, uh, but it was cold, so I'm going to get more bud wood and put on it, and uh, and we'll start it growing again um kamito is in the ground believe it or not it, it's gotten too big to keep going in and out the house in and out of the house in and out of the house so it got to do what it do it has to do what it do y'all pray for it and this is denise denise is chest high almost right at the base of my chest high so denise is doing well and so this is uh the two of this half of the of the grove and y'all know the sugar cane if y'all notice i haven't been doing any sugar cane video that's because the sugar cane is completely neglected but when i get my truck fixed we're going to be up and going because i'm going to redo the soil i'm going to put some good 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 soil in there and the cane that's left i'm going to lay it down and let it do its thing so then we'll get back to doing sugar cane videos um but this is the orlando gardener coming at you and uh we're glad the garden is the garden is looking good. We have fruit a little bit everywhere, and we're glad about it. Good old Rosie Go, I gotta prop it up today. So y'all be safe, be prayerful, and uh, I definitely appreciate you all. Y'all comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. I can take constructive criticism, but y'all have a good one. Back to the grill.